There we go. Hey guys, Kelsey from Badger Security and Survival. Today we're going to cover this inflatable contraption. You, most of you know what it is. It's been going around, buzzing around social media a lot. So we're going to review it and see if it's a good option for a survival situation. Let's get to it. All right guys, some cons to this thing is, as you saw, it was very hard to inflate. We were running, we had to run up, up, up and back, up and back, up and back to get this thing inflated. Unless you have a really big wind going, it's gonna be kind of difficult. It's not as easy as you see on the videos. Also, there isn't any pockets in this one, so I have nowhere to put my beer, and that is a huge issue with this. Also, they say it's puncture proof, but anything can be punctured. With, so especially with this material, so you're taking that risk as having this as your only sleeping system and it being punctured and you have nothing to sleep on. Also, the air, air uh, intake, it's gonna deflate throughout time. We were sitting on it for five, six hours and it seemed fine. But maybe through the night or a longer period of time, you might get more deflation. Also, if you're not using this with a tent, which we wouldn't if we were carrying this, um, you're going to be in the elements because you're not going to have as much walls around you to stop the wind and stuff like that. You're obviously going to have a blanket and a tarp over you, but that's all you have. So the wind and cold weather would be an issue with this depending on, you know, if you're by yourself or if you have enough people with you. All right, guys, some pros of this thing is the fact that it's inflated. You can use it as a flotation device in a river, stack things in it even put things inside of it because the cavity is so big you can you can use it to carry so much stuff also it could be used as a medical device as a stretcher okay it, obviously you'd have to be deflated with some poles and some cordage the only other thing you're going to have is a tarp so it's a it's a secondary thing you could use for that the tensile strength on these are 500 pounds so it's perfect for that type of thing also it obviously keeps you higher up off the ground than than a two a inch mat two inch mat so that's gonna help you stay warm and off the cold ground. Also, the weight for this is 4.4 pounds, okay? So it's not that much heavier than carrying a tent and the profile of it fitting in the bag is not very much uh, bigger than a mat. It's actually even smaller depending on the type of mats you get if you're gonna spend 50 to $100. Um, but it's a very good item. A lot of people are saying that this is just a joke and you can't, it's not gonna work for any survival situations or anything like that. But I disagree. I think there's so many pros to this thing compared to cons, compared to having a, a mat in a tent with you that's gonna be a lot heavier than this thing. Um, there's so many pros to it, you, you can justify carrying this in a bug out bag with you. All right, let's see if this uh, inflates the way they, they show us it inflates. No. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> all right, guys, this is what it looks like all packed up. This is after we used it, so it packed up pretty easily and it's, it has a small profile, like I said. In a future video, we're going to put this thing through the ringer. We're going to do a lot of uh, puncture tests and stuff like that to see what it can withstand. Our plan is to not have this thing to be able to inflate when we're done with it. So keep an eye on that. Don't forget to check out BadgerSecurityAndSurvival.com. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment in the sections below for this video or any future videos you'd like us to do. And until next time, make yourself ready.